yeah, man, as your, as your life grow, man, your circle going to get smaller. And, you know, one thing, one thing our people love to do. Let me tell you something. I always, I always see people having success on Facebook, on the Internet or whatever. And, and I look at the comments and uh, it's always those little small, slight jealousy comments. Don't forget the little people. Instead of saying, God bless you, just that don't forget where you came from, knowing damn well that don't nobody. I don't care how bougie I am and how successful I am. I know where the hell I'm from. I know what projects I came from. Martin Simpson Village, King, better known as Kingston Project, Birmingham, Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Zip code, everything. Like, you ain't going to forget where you came from. So what the fuck does, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? You can't take everybody with you. Okay, I know you done grew up and you went to school, high school, elementary school. You know, I, I see a lot of NBA, NFL players and different people struggle with that. Because, man, you got to realize just sometimes what God, what God has for you is for you. It ain't for everybody else. Right? Right? You've been out here working, working your ass off on the football field. How many folks showed up to give you some Gatorade? Right? You want to use somebody's car, but how... Hey, Tanya, can I use your car? But did it? Did, but did you come the day before and ask Tanya, can I take your car to get it washed? Right? You always helping people in the family. Did anybody send some Krispy Kreme donuts and coffee to your job? Or some Subway sandwiches? Giving you something while everybody riding off you? I'm telling you, man, people are entitled and messed up. And as you grow and as you get bigger, as you grow into finance or whatever, your circle is going to get small because jealousy is real. Everybody ain't happy for you because anything you do uh, from, from what I've experienced and from what I've seen with other people's success, there's a pocket of people that always almost try to make you feel guilty for your success when they was no part of your success. They have nothing to do with what you've been saying. Nobody helped you with your work knowing your dumb ass can't do math like me. Shout out to Donna Deuce because she helped me with my math. My dumb ass can't do no math, boy. When I tell you, man, I was in there, they had to put me in a class with the motherfucker with some helmets on. When Mike Epps do that joke, talking about, teacher talking about, put y'all helmets on and take a nap. Mike Epps said, bitch, we 19. <laughs> that took me out. Now, I understand that because I had to take, take me a little special ed math because math don't make sense to me. However, you know, um, everybody not going to be happy for you, man, and don't feel guilty and set boundaries. If you have to set boundary, man, black folks real good at making you feel guilty for setting boundaries. And if any, and if anybody interrupt you while you're setting a boundary, they don't have good intentions. If they don't allow you to set the boundary, or they over talk you while you're trying to set the boundary, they don't have good intentions because they don't like what you're finna say. They don't like the fact that you say, "Hey." You can't call my phone after 10 o'clock. I have to get rest. I have to be up at a certain time. Or you have to call me before you show up to my house or whatever because I might be doing something or I might be having mental or emotional issues. I might not want to be bothered. They hate when you set boundaries. They say, that's just how you are. You just kind of, we, we, know, we, we know how you are. You, when you, you're acting funny or whatever. You always, you always acting funny when you don't let folks do what they want to do. And I just want people out there, there's a lot of good people out there, but don't be no fool. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Set boundaries. If you set boundaries and make a small space and a small circle, your life is going to be 100% better. It ain't for everybody. And it ain't for everybody to like you. And it's okay. Because guess what? The thing, I, uh, 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 somebody told me this a long time ago about Birmingham. Yes, yeah, people in Birmingham don't like me. But them ain't the niggas that come and sell out the Stardome on a damn Monday to see some karaoke. And I did the Stardome and performed Monday through Monday and sold out three shows Friday, three shows Saturday, two shows Sunday, and then did Monday and started on a Monday. No, I did Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday again, or whatever. Sold out all the shows. So, the, so, so, and when, when people talk about they don't like you, look at the caliber of people that don't like you. Look at them. And look at what they got going on. Because the people, as long as the people that matter like you, then that's important. 
the people I do business with, some of my high school friends, some of my college friends, some of my frat brothers, all cues don't like me. That's fine. Cause just cause we know the same stuff or whatever, and, and we, we got the same affiliation, cause all of, most of us are Christians, right? That don't mean we have to like each other or agree. It's just some, it's just some cues that just wear the same Greek letters I wear. And they don't like me for setting a boundary, right? Hey, let me get a picture. How are you, sir? Nice to meet you. Ricky Smile in the Spring, Sorrow Chapter 2000 Trade Dog. Talking about a picture. What's your name and what's your chapter? How you doing? Nice to meet you. I said and I meant it. I stand strong on that. And I'm not bending. Oh, 94. That's what, that what the brother told me at the clay. Hit his chest hard and said, he's 94. It's all right. The other brother that was with him, he didn't like it. Kind of sit there. Just kind of give your ass a, a nasty look. Then you run into him again. They don't talk to you. But they don't like your ass because you're setting the boundary. You have to train people how to treat you. Now, they might not like me, but they respect me, so they're probably not going to say nothing to me at all. Because they don't like me, and that's fine. But they don't pay not one bill. They don't come over here, they don't cut this grass, they don't pay no bills, they ain't raised none of my kids. They ain't donated shit to what I got going on. And if they did come to a comedy show, I gave them a show. So I don't own nobody shit. <laughs> I came to your show. I performed, nigga. We even. Everything else is extra. Think about some of that stuff before you let people manipulate you. A lot of people are master and mistresses of manipulation. Make you feel guilty for setting a boundary and make you feel guilty. And then make sure you smell up on your arm and check your breath every morning and make sure you intact and make sure you right before you go off on somebody. You understand? I said, okay, was it me? Okay, what did I do wrong? Okay, I was walking down the street. Okay, and this happened. And here's how I handled it. Let me think this through. I was walking down the street. And, that, and I don't just walk around knowing I'm right. But I know what I feel. And I know most of the people say, hey, dog, I'm Ricky Smiley Spring. Give him my name. I tell them, dog, my bad. Dog, cute dog, my bad. I apologize, bro. What's up, dog? Send this, send this, say. Send this chapter. Nice to meet you, bro. I apologize, dog. I'm cool, dog, Ricky Smiley. What's up? Chop it up. Woo -woo. But if you get offended when somebody correct you, that says a lot. What did that say about you? And what did it say about you if you don't correct people that invade your space? I ain't going around telling people how the fuck to be. But when what you do affect me, it's a conversation. Because you're going to have to be on, on some kind of level of respect when you approach me. I'm, I'm training you. If we're going to get down and be friends or be whatever, Here's how it go. The lady's in the airport. Can I get a picture? How are you today? Nice to meet you. Because you're asking for something, right? Right? You're asking for something from me. I'm not getting paid. I'm just walking down the hall at the airport. I don't care what nobody on the internet say. Well, people are just excited. People know you're busy. Okay, if you know, if you think somebody's busy, leave them alone. Trying to use them lame excuses to justify entitlement and bullshit without having some manners. How are you today? It's simple. It don't take but a second. How are you today? When I go to Walmart, how are you today? Not, okay. I don't, answer, I don't say my name and shit, but how are you today, ma'am? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Can you tell me what aisle the barbecue sauce is on? Thank you kind to have a blessed day. You too. They be so happy. People in Walmart and Target be so happy. All you have to do is, how are you today? Get off the phone, you know. You know what I'm saying? You go up there and ring up your groceries. People trying to serve you. I'll call you back. How are you today? Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Here my groceries. Boop, boop, boop. Yes, ma'am. Have a nice day. Thank you for your help. A simple act of kindness. Sometimes little shit like that, it go a long way with people. Ask somebody how they doing. You don't know what somebody dealing with or going through. And if you're going through something, shit, if your mama died, you can still be respectful. I'm going through something. My mama just died. Okay, you walked up to me. You can still speak. I don't know that your mama died. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, my mama died too. You want a picture, right? You want you want you want me to help you with something, or you want some information, whatever it is. You can say hi. How are you today? 
common courtesy is gone. Everybody is it's a microwave generation. Everybody in a rush to get what they want to get. And people don't even take the time to speak to people anymore. And, and, and people that got home training like I do, good ass, old fashioned home training. See, it's a different. Some of y'all was raised by y'all mama. But I know a person when I meet them when they was raised by their grandparents. I can't explain it. And ain't nothing wrong with what your mom and daddy did, but when I meet niggas, Negroes, saying that, I'm just talking. When I meet people that was raised by their grandparents, I automatically connect with them because they got a certain kind of home training and they operate in love when they approach you. You can tell. There's a young dude working at Birmingham Airport from Dade County. Working in Birmingham, moved to Birmingham from Miami. He worked in the airport. Woke up, hey, Mr. Smiley, how you doing, sir? Uh, my name is such and such. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Smiley. Didn't even ask for a picture or whatever. He said, um, would it be okay if I get a picture? I said, absolutely. I said, where you from? He said, I'm from uh, Miami. I said, Dade County, 99 Jam. He said, yes, sir, Mr. Smiley. He never said Ricky. Yes, sir, Mr. Smiley. He probably about 32. I grew up listening to your morning show. All right, nice to meet you. Took the selfie. I said, let me ask you something. He said, yes, sir. I said, you was raised by your grandparents, wait. He said, yes, sir, how did you know? I said, I can't explain it. I know. Good old fashioned ass home training. Ain't never hurt nobody. And that's what I'm teaching Grayson. Good old fashioned ass home training. It go a long way when you're on a movie set, talking about some yes, sir, and no, sir. Yes, ma'am, and being on time and being respectful and being kind and good morning when you walk in the room, good evening, all that kind of stuff. Damn, not only do we sell tickets, he's very mannerable and respectful. I had a lot of Hollywood producers that just, that, that I'm friends with. I can call anybody in LA right now and get a TV show if I wanted to do one, but I don't want to do no TV show or whatever, no movies, cause I like doing what I'm doing right now. Raking leaves and working in my yard. And I love my little medium thing. I don't have to have all the money because, you know, it don't bring happiness. But if you make a little bit of money, you can take your damn Nike slides off and walk in your grass that you just got through cutting after a hot shower and have you a nice relaxing day. That gives you balance. So, I don't know, I'm just making these little, little videos because I just like to just be trying to teach because everybody wasn't lucky enough to have grandparents, man. But if I could just drop a nugget here and there on some home training, and some, some structure and a little bit of discipline when you come in contact with other people. Cool, man, I love all the bros. You understand, I love all the bros, I love everybody I meet or whatever, but some people you just love from a distance. And it's okay, you don't, you don't like everybody you meet. And everybody you meet ain't gonna like you. And stop going out of your damn way to make everybody like you. Your self-esteem ain't that low. You don't have to be validated by none of these damn folks. Fuck them. Yeah, I meant that. I meant it. Screw them. You ain't gonna ever see them again anyway. Or if you do see them, you ain't got to be in cahoots with them. <laughs> it's okay. I do not need that. And that's why men need to step up and be in your kids' life because men give sons and daughters confidence. And so when you grow up and you don't need to be validated, I walk in the room, I don't need the DJ to shout me out because Ricky Smiley is in the club. I'm cool with sitting over there in the corner with me a hot fish plate with some mustard and hot sauce on it and some greasy ass french fries enjoying the music. I'm cool, I don't need a shout out from the DJ. I don't want all that attention. I'm I'm, I'm good, I, I know who I am. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm good with my little comedy club ticket sales and, and I'm good with Friday up the next. If I don't do another damn movie, shit, that shit a legend, I'm good. I was a host of Comic View in 2000. I ain't still living off it, but I'm still funny and relevant because I'm on the radio every day. But, man, I don't, need, I don't need validation. And please understand, folks, man, everybody ain't going to like you. And it's okay. Go your separate ways. Some, sometimes it don't work out for a reason because you don't want that drama in your life. There's a lot of bad people out here with bad motives. So keep the good people around you and love who love you. That's, that's it. Love who love you. Right? The little old lady that work at the information desk that you walk past every day is always saying, good morning. Here's your Christmas card. You don't pay her no attention. But you'll run behind somebody 
you know what I'm saying, that mistreat you and treat you like shit. But the little old lady, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're working at the information that they speak to you every morning. Every morning. I done had a, a lot of them people like that in my life that work at the radio station in the building. Little lady sitting in front of, how you doing, miss? Such and such, good to see you. You having a good day? All right, take care, I'll see you tomorrow. Stuff like that. Those are people that matter.